Thank you. So I'm Larry Matthews. I'm narrating the rest of the demos today. This demo is by Nate Michaels' group from Carnegie Mellon University. The objective here is to enable a team of robots to rapidly and as completely as possible map an unknown space. It's using an information-based criteria, so it's modeling the entropy in the map and seeking motion plans that reduce that entropy as much as possible. The, the state-of-the-art um, algorithm that we're, we're showing advancements over is a sequential uh, planning algorithm that starts with an initial plan and then updates it for each robot in turn and iterates that until some criterion is met. That algorithm is quadratic in the number of robots, so it very quickly becomes uh, computationally impractical to scale to more robots. So the challenge is to come up with algorithms that reduce that computational complexity while preserving the quality of the map as much as possible. So the research achievement has been to develop a parallel planning algorithm where each robot can plan for itself from that initial starting point with a limited number of iterations, reduces the computational complexity to linear in the number of robots. There's a graph up there that shows a simulation for up to 32 robots uh, that illustrates that. It does, there's basically proofs about the bounds on the um, on the quality of the map in terms of how much mapping uh, quality is lost, and it, it still maps quite well. Uh, in the demonstration, you're going to see a live display from the robots. They're using RGB depth sensors for perception, so you're going to see initially before they've started mapping a display of the point cloud, so that's the colored dots. Uh, color coding is blue is higher and I think red is lowest. As the robots start to map, you'll see dark gray fill in for the map surface and then there's kind of a light gray over that which is what the robots know is unknown. And I think, uh, are we ready to start the demo? If you are, just go ahead. So there are three robots, as you can see. Gets a little loud while it's running, so I... Uh, so you see the point clouds, you see the map starting to fill in. This demonstration is about reducing the computational complexity of the algorithm. It's not about the speed of the robot. So they've not made an effort to maximize the rate of physical motion of the robot here. So again, the dark gray up there is the surface that's been mapped. The light gray above it is what's known to be empty space. Well, I think, um, the robots for this demonstration are using, this, like, this demonstration does use the Vicon for position estimation for the robots. Okay, are we switched back to slides? All right, so the major result is a, a new algorithm that scales uh, with much better computation and complexity to more robots while preserving the quality of the mapping. Um, and well, the scalability is important, both from a research perspective and for practicality of the deploying robots for this kind of a mission. So uh, if there's a question, we can probably take time for a question. Otherwise, I think this concludes the indoor demos and we'll be moving outdoors. Right. No, sorry. All right, uh, next is Brian Sadler.